नेक्स्ट एथ प्रॉब्लम दिस ऑल्सो सिमिलर टू सेवेंथ फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ द लोकस of a point which forms a triangle of area 2 with the points with the points a1 comma 1 and b minus 2 comma 3 okay. let us find out so let us draw a triangle this p x1 comma y1 is one of the vertices moving point other two vertices are fixed say a1 comma 1 b minus 2 comma 3 here given that area of triangle pab equals to 2 this we can write of modulus of x1 1 minus 2 again x1 y1 1 3 again y1 equals to 2 cross multiply to that side and apply criss cross method so mod of x1 Minus y one plus three plus two minus two y one minus three x one equals to four. This is mod of minus two x one minus three y one plus five equals to four. Take minus comma. Mod of minus two x one. Plus three y one minus five equals to four. So now two x one plus three y one minus five is equal to plus r minus four. Squaring on both sides. Squaring on both sides. So two x one plus three y one minus five square equals to four square. Bring four square this side. Two x one plus three y one minus five square minus four square is equal to zero. It is in the form of a square minus b square. So a plus b into a minus b. So we get two x one plus three y one minus five plus four into 2x1 plus 3y1 minus 5 minus 4 equals to zero. 2x1 plus 3y1 minus 1. 2x1 plus 3y1 minus 9 equals to zero. Therefore, the equation to the locus of p x1 comma y1 is 2x plus 3y minus 1 multiplied by 2x plus 3y minus 9 is equal to 0 
ninth problem if the distance from p to the points to the points 2 comma 3 and 2 comma minus 3 are in the ratio Two is to three. Then find the equation equation of the locus P. Let us solve this problem. The distance from P to the points are in the ratio 2 is to 3. Suppose let us say this point is A, this point is B. Distance from P to A is PA. Distance from P to B is PB. Both distances are in the ratio 2 is to 3. That means PA is to PB is equal to 2 is to 3. So, we have to find out equation of the locus which moves in such a way that P A is to P B is equal to 2 is to 3. So, now let us take the figure P x 1 comma y 1 say given points 2 comma 3 this is 2 comma minus 3. So, given that given that P A is to P B equal to 2 is to 3. That means P A over P B equals to 2 over 3 or P A by P B equals to 2 by 3. Cross multiplication takes place. 3 P A equals to 2 P B squaring on both sides. 9 P A square equals to 4 P B square. Let us replace P A square value and P B square value. 9 times x 1 minus 2 square plus y 1 minus 3 square equals to 4 times p b square x 1 minus 2 square plus y 1 plus 3 o square. So, now this is 9 times x 1 square minus 4 x 1 plus 4 y 1 square minus 6 y 1 plus 9 equals to 4 times x 1 square minus 4 x 1 plus 4 plus y 1 square plus 6 y 1 plus 9. 9 times x 1 square plus y 1 square minus 4 x 1 minus 6 y 1 plus 13 equals to 4 times x 1 square plus y 1 square minus 4 x 1 plus 6 y 1 again plus 13 here. So, 9 x 1 square 9 y 1 square 36 x 1, 54 y 1, 117, 4 x 1 square, 4 y 1 square, minus 16 x 1, 
plus 24 y 1 plus 52. Now, bring all the term this side 5 x 1 square 5 y 1 square minus 20 x 1 minus 68 y 1 1 1 7 minus 52 5 6 65 minus 65 equals to 0. Therefore, the equation of the locus of P x 1 comma y 1 is 5 x square plus 5 y square minus 20 x minus 68 y minus 65 equals to 0.